KX News Storm Team. Hey, welcome back everyone. We finally got that soaking rain that we've been waiting for really all year, let alone all summer. And uh, just uh, today, North 10 miles north northeast of uh, Dunn Center got an inch and a half of rain and other places around the state got over an inch as well. So certainly a good day for some of that soaking rain feeling a little bit more like fall too. And chances for showers will continue going into tonight and uh, we will get a little bit of a break from the uh, rain to begin the week though. But later on we do have another system of more widespread rain coming through as well. And it looks like our seasonal temperatures will be here to stay as well. So I want to take a look over Bowman right now. Notice all that fog and everything, and that's a result of the temperature at 48 degrees as well as the dew point. So our relative humidity right now at 100%, but very breezy there. Winds coming out of the north at 17 miles per hour. Now taking a look at Dickinson as well, 47 degrees right now with a dew point of 45. So not quite uh, any fog there right now, but still also very breezy. Winds out of the north northeast at 14 miles per hour. Temperatures across the rest of the state looking pretty cool right now. We've got a lot of upper 40s and we've got some low to mid 50s as well. Mobridge, the hot spot at 63 as well as Wolf Point, 65 degrees, but other places again, mainly in that 40s to 50s. But winds mostly coming out of the north or the northeast at a lot of places between 15 and 20 miles an hour. So certainly a very breezy way to kick off the weekend. But here's a look at their satellite and radar where you have a lot of showers towards the south and the southeastern part of the state and a few showers lingering north of the international border. A little bit of a dry slot in here, but I wanted to focus a little bit too. There was a bunch of severe weather going through northeastern South Dakota earlier. In fact, there's still a tornado warning right now for uh, northeast South Dakota until 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time and uh, another severe thunderstorm warning for seven, expiring at 7.15 Central Daylight Time. Looking at precision cast, we still have a little bit of a chance of some of those showers continuing on until later this evening, and then we'll have a little bit of back building too, and that's going to bring more showers mostly east of Highway 83. A couple places and points west may have those showers lingering on into the early hours of tomorrow morning, but the further east we go, the better chance that some of these showers may even linger on into later on in the afternoon, and then we'll start to dry out a little bit going into your Monday morning. Now, I want to focus a little bit on this, probably wondering why I'm shifting down towards northeastern Colorado here. Well, this is what's going to bring our next system. So there's going to be a Colorado low forming right around Tuesday uh, in the early hours of the morning. That's going to continue to track towards the northeast. And as it does track northeast, it's going to start to pick up strength. And look at all this moisture behind it. And watch what happens now as this continues to move. We'll get a little bit of rain going into southwestern North Dakota by the early hours of Wednesday morning. And then as this continues to move towards the northeast, we'll get widespread rain, even some stronger showers too for most of the state really going into about Thursday morning. And uh, yeah, there is a chance for some mixed precipitation in some of our far northwestern counties. Now, lows tonight, a lot of us going to be in the mid to upper 30s and a few places towards the south may touch the mid 40s. But tomorrow not going to warm up very much. A lot of places struggling to get out of the 60s and a little bit cooler off towards the east as well. 72 hour plan for Dickinson showing that will continue to cool down into the middle of the week with going down into about the low 50s with a couple chances of some showers. Similar trend in Williston, a little bit of sunshine to finish off the weekend and then breezy conditions for your Tuesday as well. Minot will have that next chance of showers lingering on into about Thursday morning. Cooling down may even not get out of the 50s by, or excuse me, out of the 40s by Thursday. And then Bismarck, similar trend, windy conditions to end of the work week. And then we'll have more sunshine to bring in your Saturday, excuse me, with uh, <laughs> temperatures in the low 60s. All right, sounds great. Thanks so much, Mike. Coming up in sports, you marry's football team.